I am going to demonstrate how to customize the Prolocal to Go application into a personalized vocabulary set. The Prolocal to Go application is pre-programmed with its own vocabulary page, so the page that you're looking at on the screen now is just for demonstration purposes, it only has one button. But on the Prolocal to Go, it's pre-programmed with a bunch of different tabs that have pre-programmed vocabulary that is standard for all of the Prolocal to Go applications. But for this demonstration, I'll just show you an easy way to modify buttons with just this pre-programmed display. So the first thing you do is if you want to make your own set of vocabulary, you can just clear off the Prolocal to Go home page, which is the page you're looking at now. Just clear it off and start with an original blank page to create your own buttons. So in order to clear the button, what you do is you click the Modify button in the right-hand corner, which looks like a little pencil. And then you can click on the button that you want to hide. And you can just select Cut, which will cut the button from the screen. And then select your check mark button in the right-hand corner, which signifies that you are done modifying that button. And now you can see that we have a blank page. So after you cut all the buttons, you have a blank page, and now you can start creating your own buttons. So in order to create your own folders with their own speech phrases and other words, what you want to do is click that Modify Pencil button again. And now you see that in a plus sign, which means the add, you can add a button, click that, and now it says add an item. And just for demonstration purposes, we will create a folder on the home page called people. So you can type in people and then select the done option. And what you want to always make sure is checked is you make sure that there's a check mark under the select category to add to make sure the home option is checked because that will select and set the category on your home page. So after that you can now select an image to use that will be posted on the button on the home page. So click the add folder symbol and what you can do is you can choose a symbol that is within the Prolocal to Go device or you can choose a picture that you upload onto your iPhone or iPod Touch. So we'll just use a pre-programmed symbol. And what you can do is you can search for a symbol by clicking in this button and we'll search for people. Here we go. Select people. And now you can see that an assortment of people icon has been displayed on the home page. And what you want to do now is select add as a new category. And by selecting add as a new category, it will create a new category page on your home page of your Prolocal. And then select create new category when the option comes up. And there you can see that we have created a people category on the home page of the application. And in order to signify that you are done modifying this button, go ahead and select that check mark option again. So there is our first button on the home page. And in order to just modify this button to the way you want it to make sure it speaks the label or has the label that you'd like, you can select that modify button again, hit the button that you'd like to modify, and now select edit. And there's a variety of options that you can choose from that will let you change different options on the button itself. So we can have a label and we can change it to make sure it says, for example, people. Oops. These buttons are so small people, select done. So our label will say people and that's the label that it will speak when you click the button on the home page. And there's a variety of options here but for our purposes we are ready to go then select done. So now when you click the button oops, had to, I forgot to hit my done 
check mark button. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but our button that we created now says people. And if we want to put some different buttons and words and phrases within our people category, we once again select our modification button, select the add button, and now you can go ahead and just as we did when we created the new category, we can add people into our category. So for this example, let's add in mother. Oops. And then I would select done. And what an important step that you want to make sure to do is when you are selecting a category to add to this but this little column right here, you want to make sure that the but that the category that you want to put this button into is selected. So our people category is selected. And just for demonstration purposes, I'll skip these other steps. And what I want to do now is click add. And it will add it to the category that we want. And I will select our modification done button. And now you can see that mother is within the people category. So just to show you all the steps, there was our people category on the homepage, and, and there's mother.